Hi everybody, welcome back. I know it's been like ages since I uploaded a video. Anyways, welcome back. Okay, so uh, my channel recently hit almost 2.1k subscribers and I'm very 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 happy. Even though I've not uploaded any videos from like past 6 months, this improvement is like a great milestone for you and uh, to all those who have subscribed to my channel and are constantly supporting to, uh, uh, to me, a very big thank you to you all. I know so many people have joined first year now and it's after waiting for such a long time and most of the first year students will always be very clueless regarding the subjects, regarding seniors, teachers, colleagues, dissection and everything. At least I was very very clueless okay. So when I joined my MBBS I did not even know what subjects were there. Leave subjects I did not know the first year subjects also. But I know all the juniors are very smart these days you would have checked uh, all the videos or whatever and I know you'll have quite much a uh, lot of idea about all colleges courses and everything but to all those people who are like me who are really clueless this is a video to help you all and i always thought that if i knew all these my life in first year would have been even more better so i thought i'll share this with you all firstly coming to subjects there are three subjects in first year which are like your main subjects the basic subjects they are anatomy physiology and biochemistry these subjects are very important because they give you a good grip for the other subjects and it's like foundation for you now I use this book called B.D. Chaurasia for anatomy and Shimbalingam for physiology and Satya Narayana for biochemistry. I know you know the trend, the syllabus and uh, how the syllabus is taught. You have something called integrated teaching. So I think the books may be a little bit different for you. You can always ask your immediate seniors for the best books that they used. And obviously that will uh, give you you know best results if you refer to them. But these books really helped me a lot. Now coming to anatomy, it tells you about how your body uh, structures are the bones the vessels the arteries the muscles and all that and if you want to take some surgical field or any field for that matter you need to have proper basics in these so i think reading proper book for anatomy is a must and attending dissection is a must very must okay now coming to physiology it tells you about the basic functioning of every organ system now only when you know the basic functioning it will help you build on the pathologies the diseases later on Coming to biochemistry, it will teach you things like the chemical components of the cells, the cells, how it's organized into tissues and stuff, the important molecules like carbohydrates, proteins, all these, uh, chem uh, the cells, the uh, you know chemical components in the cells, the nitrogen content in the body, etc, etc, etc. There's a lot, uh, lots actually, it's vast. But I think if you uh, have a good grip in all these subjects, it will be very helpful when you go to your second year. Okay, so, um, uh, you know, some of you might feel like some of these subjects are very boring. Okay, it might be boring, but you know, trust me, if you have good grip, it's going to help you like anything. Now, secondly, coming to dissection, this is one of the most enjoyable and, you know, a very good experience that every one of us had in the first year. When you go there and you dissect and see each and every organ, organ system and everything, you get a very good uh, knowledge and understanding and that pictorial memory just stays with you. So just read about the dissection topic and go and then you see things. Your eyes always sees what your mind knows, right? So reading prior to dissection is very, very important. And see, when you go to second year, this, uh, if somebody asks you, what do you miss? You'll obviously tell dissection because it is really fun and uh, the experience is thrilling. So don't miss dissection. If you, uh, you know, uh, had to miss something in your, you know, theory or practicals, make sure you don't miss your dissection because it teaches you so much. Now, coming to ragging, I think ragging is reduced everywhere and it's almost near these days. Uh, I just want to say that you just maintain a very healthy relationship with your seniors because at every step of your life in uh, MBBS, it is your seniors will help you and guide you throughout. And if you don't know seniors, if you don't talk to them, there's nobody that will actually come and guide you. So just, you know, be friends with them, be in good terms with your seniors. It will always come handy. They are the ones whom you'll have to go and ask about the postings, which books to refer, what to do. And that's why you just, you know, be in good terms with them. And coming to one of the most important part, make lots and lots of friends. See, uh, MBBS is very vast, it's a six year course, okay? And there are so many times when you will just feel very, uh, you know, devastated. You're like, why have I taken this? It is so hectic and all that. 
and that time it is your friends will come and hold your back will support you so i think having lots of friends is very nice and there throughout your life your friends will always be there to you know motivate you cheer you up and all that make lot of friends try to know everybody in your class yeah even now there are so many uh, you know students who don't know their own classmates don't be like one of them just know everybody who's in your class they are your classmates right and coming to one more point be in good terms with your teachers respect them and respect their time and uh, you know uh, there is no point in you uh, you know being angry with your teachers for very silly reasons and all that listen to class and see if you don't listen also you just try to go and cover up those topics respect your teachers because at the end that is all that matters you only when you give respect you going to get it from your juniors or whatsoever and lastly okay this is my favorite part okay just live your life chill out make lot of friends and live each day for mbbs like there's no tomorrow and uh, see uh, you know uh, i feel like it was yesterday since i joined this medical college and i'm already in final year time just flows make best use of your time you uh, you see medical is really a vast field but it's not that vast and hectic that you can't give time to all that you like dance enjoy chill out sing practice your hobby always do whatever you like along with studying because once this time is gone it's never going to come back and see once you've cleared your need and if uh, you have taken the seat you need to be really proud of yourself just make sure that you put in all your efforts once you start putting all your efforts the universe is always there to give you all that that you actually deserve to get yeah that's pretty much everything i think uh, these are the things that i really wanted all the first years to know uh, thanks for watching this video subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends and uh, be there to support me okay uh, i'll see you in the next video until next time bye bye